So you're curious about why Americans are flocking to Southeast Asia and if it's the next American dream destination, right? Well, buckle up, because we're about to go on an exciting journey to uncover the truth. First of all, let's define what the American dream is all about. The American dream is the idea that anyone, regardless of their background, can achieve success through hard work and determination. But for many Americans, that dream is starting to look a little different. Thanks to the internet, more and more people are discovering the joys of retiring in Asia. Many Americans are also drawn to Southeast Asia for its welcoming communities, rich history and diverse cultures. They feel a sense of belonging in Asia, which they may not have felt in the US. As a non-US citizen, this is not my own opinion, but a conclusion drawn from speaking to countless American expats over the years who now live in the Philippines, Thailand, Cambodia, and so on. However, it's not just retirees that are making the move. Interestingly, many younger Americans are also choosing to live in countries with a low cost of living. Vietnam and Cambodia are hotspots, and I have a feeling that this trend is only going to continue. And let's not forget the wealth factor. Contrary to popular belief, not all expats in Southeast Asia are struggling financially. Many expats are successful but choose to live in Asia as there are more opportunities and a better lifestyle. Plus, with everything going on in the world, who wouldn't want a little change of scenery? But there is also the elephant in the room, dating. Dating in Asia is different than the West and for some it's a more appealing option. So, for all you single gents out there, Southeast Asia may just be the perfect place for you. But is the grass always greener on the other side? In other words, if you move and decide to live full time in Asia, will this be a wise choice? I always think it's important that you see the full picture, and this includes any potential challenges and risks. These are a few common problems that expats face. Now this is not to put you off, but it is important as I mentioned to see the cons of being an expat, not only the pros. So let's say you're thinking about moving to Southeast Asia. Well, the good news is that there is no shortage of options. Thailand is very popular with expats, with its low cost of living, delicious food and unique lifestyle. Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia and Vietnam are also super cheap, which is why they're becoming hotspots for backpackers. But don't let the low prices fool you, as there are opportunities for high class living and there are also opportunities to earn a living, especially in Vietnam which has a very impressive and growing economy. However, if you're missing the American culture, the Philippines might be a good choice, because with its American influence and excellent English fluency, it makes life a little easier for American expats. Singapore, on the other hand, is a hub for entrepreneurs, but it's also more expensive than the rest of Southeast Asia, so if you're moving for the low cost of living, it might not be the best fit. Laos is a hidden gem for some, but it's not as developed as other countries. There are some people that prefer a more laid back lifestyle which you will find in Laos, while others might need the hustle and bustle of a big city such as Manila. What makes a country right for you is a little bit of magic. When you find a place that feels like home, you'll know. There's that feeling of belongingness which you'll get when you get to a certain country and you're like, yes, this is it, this is where I should be. So the big question is, will you regret moving to Asia or will you look back and say, this was the best decision that I ever made? This depends on what you're seeking from life, but what's the point of living without some risk? You get to explore a whole new corner of the world and make some amazing memories along the way.